Hey, I'm gonna make a quick video about rotating my Model 3 tires. Uh, I live in the country, so it's, more, it's actually easier for me just to do it myself. Um, I got all the tools and stuff like that. I normally do it in my garage. I'm doing my driveway today. Got my car in there, uh, other car. So, uh, let's see here. I got my jack, two jacks. Got my uh, pucks right there. And then I got the uh, uh, cordless impact, breaker bar and torque wrench and i'll kind of go with the take the camera in there and look at the moving parts and kind of tell you what to look for if you feel you hear something you know or just even kind of keep an eye if you do it yourself on my car i use two uh two jacks two pucks um you know little puck holes uh right up under here basically i just uh do it by feel there pop it on in there I have to use two jacks because the car is low. This is a little small jack. And I have this bigger jack. I usually jack the back up first. I go ahead and put both pucks in there. I just kind of feel around under there. And just kind of put it right there. Basically what I do is I use the 21 millimeter socket, use a breakover bar. I just kind of loosen them all up before I jack it up. I take tension off the car. A little awkward working around the camera. That makes pretty quick work of it with the impact. So once I have the wheel off, um, I just kind of visually look at everything. Um, you got bushings here, 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 of course. Drive axle, of course your brakes. Um, shock, back there and spring. Um, I give everything a good shake, a good move, grab it. Make sure nothing's really loose. You know, this is the stuff that does wear over time. Uh, this car maybe has 40,000 miles on it. It's a dual motor. But uh, I'll peek in here. And, uh, hard to see, but back there there's a boot. There's also a boot for the axle right here. I mean, on any car, you'll see where that starts to rot. Um, Brake, there's grease in there. But, uh, everything on here looks good. Uh, check my threads here also um, uh, normally I put a little bit of anisees on there um, but everything back here looks great let's check out the front this one on and out of the way all right so here's the front um, Basically the same thing as the back. Look at everything, give everything a good shake. Um, give this a good shake. This is basically your uh, uh, tie rod end here. Um, your lower control arm down here. Um, this one has had the little upper ball joint service. You can see the uh, little bit of uh, black goo there. Guess where they seal it from the back. But uh, I basically give this one a good shake also. Just check it. You can also look at the brakes, see how they're doing. Of course, the cars hardly ever need brakes from what I hear. Um, I give it a little spin, make sure everything looks good. Um, basically like a standard car, um, but uh, I just try to do this every time I rotate the tires. And uh, also look at the tires. Um, this is the first rotation on this set here. Uh, everything looks good. Nice and flat. Uh, alignment looks good. I rotate them pretty regular. Um, I see that where a lot of people don't rotate and then end up with uneven tire wear, especially on the rear. All right, let's get this thing back out together. Dead on there.
You see, same for the rear. Check out the tire. Set it on. Give it a little zip. I just lower it just enough to where it touches. And Tesla website actually says 129 foot pounds. So. See that or not? Let this one down first, all the way. Of course, get my puck out. And then this car, I'm gonna lower down. Come on out. Get the puck out. And uh, you're good to go. Appreciate it.